What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RawSmartTech.com and in this video, we're gonna go over the parts we're gonna need for our Raspberry Pi AI Super Cluster Computer build. Now, uh, these are pretty much all the parts you're gonna need. If you wanna follow along with, these, uh, with the video series, uh, I'm gonna leave a link to all these parts in the description. But uh, th there have been a few changes to my original uh, plan for this uh, series. I'm not gonna use eight Raspberry Pi 2s like I planned. I'm gonna use uh, five of those, five Raspberry Pi 2s and two Raspberry Pi uh, B pluses. Now, the reason uh, I'm gonna use uh, five uh, 2s and two B pluses is because one, uh, if I use uh, eight Raspberry Pis, I won't be able to connect my computer to this uh, router here. It has only eight ports. so. I cut out one of the Raspberry Pis so I can connect uh, the computer to this router. And uh, two, I have a lot of uh, of a lot of these Raspberry Pi B pluses laying around from the, all my other videos. And I figured, why not just use a couple of these and some of the Raspberry Pi twos? This is only this is, series is only going to be for testing purposes. Once I get a, once I get a good, good uh, base. Then we're gonna bump it up to uh, like 30 or 40 Raspberry Pi 2s or whatever Raspberry Pi is out at that time. So again, yeah, we're doing seven seven Raspberry Pis actually. It's five of those are Raspberry Pi 2s. Two of them are Raspberry Pi B pluses. So in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, pretty much what you're gonna need, all the parts. I'm gonna put together everything, and uh, in the next video, we're actually gonna uh, start uh, programming the cluster because we we need the cluster. For, uh, for this to work. Once we get the cluster uh, built, then we can start uh, programming the AI. So let's start off with all this ethernet cable. I got this from Home Depot. I paid only like two bucks for it. I'm gonna find an uh, equivalent uh, item to this in uh, Amazon if you're interested. It's a one foot uh, ethernet cable. That's all you're gonna need. I brought 10 of them. I didn't need 10 of them, I only needed seven but they were so cheap, so I just figured I'd just buy 10 of them because you always need an ethernet cable. They do come in handy. Um, I also have uh, this uh, Raspberry Pi uh, stackable case. I, I forget how to pronounce the name. It's, I think it's Ginook or Giuk Robots uh, Cases. And uh, it's, this stackable, it's this stackable case right here. I used it in my uh, previous uh, Raspberry Pi cluster computer series. I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description as well. I'm gonna be using this and stacking seven on top. Oh, again, the, the, the bottom five are gonna be Raspberry Pi 2s and the top two are gonna be Raspberry Pi B pluses. And right here I have, this is what's gonna power all the Raspberry Pis. This is a, let's see, one, two, oh, an 11 port uh, uh, power switch. And this will power all the Raspberry Pis. I got the, all the necessary uh, cables here. I have like 10 or 11 of these cables laying around. They're like 99 cents each. I'm gonna leave a link to all this in the description. And uh, finally, what you, what you one of the most important things, you're gonna need uh, micro SD cards. I'm gonna leave a link to, uh, I think, the, the eight gigabyte uh, micro SD card for like 10 bucks. You could get like as many of them as you need. Really cheap, re very reliable. And yeah, that's for the hardware for this build now. Oh, I, I, did, I, did I mention the router? I think I did. This is a uh, A-port Netgear router. I'm gonna leave a link to this as well in the description. I think I only paid 50 bucks at the time. That was last year. It's probably like 30 bucks now, who knows? So I'm gonna leave a link to everything in the description. All right, so the next step, I'm going to actually dismantle this uh, stack of Raspberry Pi B pluses. I have four of them here. I'm gonna dismantle them because I'm only gonna use two of them and I'm gonna use the, the case for the rest of the Raspberry Pi, B, uh, I'm sorry, the Raspberry Pi 2s. So when I come back, you'll see a stack of seven uh, Raspberry Pis. The bottom five will be Raspberry Pi 2s, the top will be Raspberry Pi B pluses. All right guys, so I put this all together here, as you can see, this is the stack of Raspberry Pis. The uh, bottom five, one, two, three, four, five, Raspberry Pi 2s, the top two are Raspberry Pi B pluses. And uh, well, what, what's gonna happen is, uh, I'm gonna take all these ethernet cables here. So I have seven Raspberry Pis, I'm gonna use seven of these. I'll have three as backups. And I'm gonna connect them to the router right here. All right guys, so I connected all the ethernet cables. As you can see, all seven are connected uh, to the switch from the Raspberry Pis. Now the final step here is to connect 
the power. All right guys, so as you can see, I connected all the USB cables that, to this uh, power strip here. And that's pretty much it for this video. And the uh, next part of this series, we're actually going to start programming the cluster. Once the cluster is finished, then we could actually do the AI programming. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and thank you for watching.